T minus three minutes and counting. Everything is looking good for launch today, hoping to add to the country's 4th of July Independence Day celebrations. Let's go for ET, LO2, pressure and PLT, LTC. PLT, go ahead. Clear caution and warning memory. Verify no unexpected errors. PLT, alert. OTC, PLT, caution warning memory cleared. No unexpected errors. OTC, copy. The gaseous oxygen vent hood is being retracted away from the top of the external tank at this time. Discovery, OTC. Close and lock your visors and initiate O2 flow. Back and work. T minus two minutes and counting. Let's go for ET LH2 pressure. T minus 90 seconds and counting. All systems are go. We're about 90 seconds from the launch of Space Shuttle Discovery. T minus 60 seconds and counting. Transferring to orbiter internal power at this time. Discovery is now running off its three onboard fuel cells. Coming up on a go for all the sequence start. Yeah, let's go for auto sequence start. And we have a go for auto sequence start. Start. Discovery's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. T minus 17 seconds and counting. 15, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 8, remaining to start, remaining to start, 2, 1, booster ignition, and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Discovery, returning to the space station, paving the way for future missions beyond. Discovery the space shuttle begins the journey back into orbit. Discovery completes its goal. The shuttle now heads down the wings level from eight and a half minutes by the orbit. The speed from a camera on the external tank's liquid oxygen feed line showing the bird's eye view of Discovery as it races towards space and star spangled start to Discovery's mission. Discovery's three liquid fuel main engines now throttle back to 67% of rated performance, reducing the stress on the shuttle as it breaks through the sound barrier. Discovery already three and a half miles in altitude, one and a half miles downrange, traveling almost 750 miles an hour. Everything looking good on the bird. 57 seconds into the flight, engines beginning to rev up. Standing by for the throttle up call from Capcom Steve Frick. Every you can go at throttle up. Five go at throttle up, sir. USF only. The throttle up call acknowledged by Commander Steve Lindsay. Every you can, it's expected data hits. It'll clear shortly. Copy. Lindsay joined on the flight deck by pilot Mark Kelly, flight engineer Lisa Nowak, and mission specialist Mike Fossum. Mission specialists Pierce Seller, Stephanie Wilson, and Tomas Ryder of the European Space Agency down on the mid-deck. Ryder headed for six months on the International Space Station. One minute, 47 seconds into the flight, 22 miles in altitude, 18 miles downrange, traveling 2,600 miles an hour. 
standing by for solid rocket booster separation. Solid rocket booster separation confirmed. Guidance now converging. Discoveries on board computers commanding the main engine nozzles to swivel, aiming the shuttle for its precise target in space for main engine cutoff. And we should have a good forward leg now on SPEN. Okay, you sound good. Two minutes, 35 seconds into the flight, 39 miles in altitude for Discovery, 49 miles downrange, traveling 3,200 miles an hour. Discovery now flying on the singular power of its three liquid fuel main engines, those power plants draining a half a ton of fuel per second from the shuttle's fuel tank. Copy, two engine Maroon. That call from Capcom Steve Frick indicating should we lose a main engine, we can make our trans-oceanic abort target at Maroon, Spain, but all three main engines are humming along, along with the auxiliary power units and the three power-producing fuel cells. Booster officer here in Mission Control confirms three good main engines, Discovery straight as an arrow, speeding toward a date with the International Space Station on Thursday. Three and a half minutes into the flight, Discovery now 53 miles in altitude, 100 miles downrange, speeding along at a clip of more than 4,000 miles an hour. Discovery nearing the point of negative return where the shuttle would be too far downrange, too high in altitude to return to the launch site in the event of an engine failure. Discovery Houston, negative return. Copy, negative return. Four minutes, eight seconds into the flight, Discovery 61 miles in altitude, 150 miles downrange, 5,000 miles an hour is at speed. The environmental systems officer reports a good flash evaporator system activated, providing cooling for Discovery's avionics until the time that we open the payload bay doors an hour and a half into the flight. More than halfway to orbit now at the 4 minute 39 second point into the flight, Discovery 65 miles in altitude, 200 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. Discover Houston, no action on the left dome's tank P. It was due to the left dome's accumulator, but it's back up to a good pressure. Yeah, we see that Houston, watch and watch. That call, an instrumentation issue, no impact. Discovery in good shape, 5 minutes, 15 seconds into the flight, 255 miles downrange, traveling almost 7,000 miles an hour. Discovery soon will be rolling to a heads-up position through the swiveling of its main engines, enabling the shuttle to gain more favorable communications through the tracking of data relay satellite as it heads uphill. Houston, press to ATO, select Istris. Roger, press to ATO, select Istris. Discovery Houston, single engine, OPS 3. Single engine, OPS 3. Those calls indicating that we can make our uh, minimal Orbital cutoff targets in the event of a dual engine failure. Roll the heads up uh, in the plain view of this camera on the liquid oxygen feed line. Everything looking good for Discovery. Six minutes, 11 seconds into the flight. Discovery Houston, single engine Istris 104. Roger, single engine Istris 104. That call indicating that we can make our uh, transoceanic abort targets in the event of a dual engine failure. However, all three engines on Discovery continue to function normally, along with the auxiliary power units and the fuel cells. Six minutes, 40 seconds into the flight, two minutes of powered flight remaining for Discovery. Discovery Houston, press to Miko. We show a nominal shutdown plan. Your go for the plus X and go for the pitch maneuver. Copy, 
Hey, Paul, Steve Rico, go for the plus X, go for the uh, pitch maneuver, and uh, not a Rico. Those calls acknowledged uh, by Steve Lindsay, Discovery's commander, indicating with Discovery now 516 miles downrange that we can make our main uh, engine cutoff targets, uh, all three engines, in good shape, and that uh, Lindsay will be given the green light to pitch up Discovery to allow uh, umbilical well photography of the external tank after it is discarded. Seven and a half minutes into the flight, Discovery's main engines soon will be throttled down to limit the stress on the shuttle and its seven crew members to that of three times the effect of gravity.